everyone, this is Monkey 1000 and today Shea Bear is here with me and we are going to try to unbox this um, game. It's, what is it called? I can't even see it. It's called Virtual LED Space Pong. Right? LED. LED. Sorry, <laughs> LED. <laughs> LED Space Pong. And it's for two players. And or one. Or one, yeah, one person can play it. So it looks, it's a projected LED ball on here. So we're going to take this apart and we're going to try to play it and see what this is all about. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're back. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're back. Now we're going to open this up and see what's inside. Yeah, I'll let Monkey open it up and she can hand me the stuff and I'll show you guys. I keep going like this because remember she's recording for her channel too, so. Yeah, I got a mic on so hopefully it's not rubbing and making noise. So, here we go. Wow, that's neat. Ah, there's nothing there. <laughs> wow. There. Virtual. Yeah, isn't that neat? Very neat. Wow. Look. See, there's nothing in yeah, there. Yeah, nothing. Wow. I don't know if it takes other batteries. We'll have to see. Yeah, right we'll look we're, at it. We're going to get, yeah, we'll get it out of the box and then we'll, um, we'll, uh, Okay, I'll let you be the honors. Okay. Where's the rest of that box right there? Mm -hmm. This is the book I'll be reading here momentarily. Okay. And this is the base, I guess, where the ball's going to be at. I guess it lights up on here. I'm assuming. Yeah. I so, know, so we'll have to read the directions. I don't see anything to plug in or anything. It must be all battery. It must be batteries. Yep, all so batteries. We'll have to, we'll Loosen the screw using a Phillips or cross okay. screwdriver yeah. to access the battery. And the insert three double A's. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some batteries in these things. Right. I'm sure these are going to take batteries too. Um, and the and rockets take two double A's, so they're all double A's. Okay, so we need seven batteries. Yeah. Double A batteries. Right. Okay, so we're going to check this out. Put the batteries in it. Like she just told, there's one screw here. Take that out. Put your batteries in. Same way with here. Just one screw. Mm -hmm. And rust us up some batteries and. Get the show on the road. So hang tight, guys. Yeah, stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Monkey. I'm back. Um, we were going to try to play this game that we showed, um, but we have a lot of issues going on here. So we're not going to be able to show you how to play it, really. No. No. Because it doesn't work. Right. It doesn't work. It's very plasticky. It's very cheap. cheap. Cheaply made. Um, you have to have how many batteries? Uh, well, you could have three in the base. Yeah. And each one of these take two. Right. So the problem three with putting batteries. the batteries in here that they're so dang tight inside, which he's going to show you. Yeah. And so. let me see if I can get your eye on my camera. Okay, see that? That should drop in. And once you push it in, it's in there, but. That won't come out, mm -hmm. of course. But it's they're one? very tight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show them. Mhm. Mm oh, there's one. Look, it doesn't want to drop in. Look at that. It won't even push back out with the spring. Yeah. So that? yeah, you can see. It. Yeah. So it's not. It's very hard to put so, in. Right. Okay, so that's that's number one issue. Both of them are like that. Yeah. They said that's no battery should do that. Okay. Number two issue is 
that you turn this little doodad on. It has a little blue light. Hopefully you guys can see this blue light. He'll bring it closer to you to show you. That little blue light, you're supposed to use the racket and that light has to show in front of the ball, the virtual ball. Yeah. Well, what you're gonna do, show them what you do when you hit a racket. Yeah, this is for it to talk to that. What are you gonna do when you hold on? Cause this is supposed to be pointing towards the base. What are you gonna do when you hold this racket? You're gonna cover the eye. So that's not going to work. And a kid is not gonna look out for the eye if his hand is covering it. He's not even gonna think that. This is for ages eight and above. So an eight year old is not gonna do that. And to switch like these, like okay, this is player one blue. So let's say, I, took, I don't have batteries in this, but so you want this to be player two, you gotta hold this. Right. Until it changes. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now to also, hold. to turn it off, you have to hold it until mm -hmm. it goes off. Now, if you're player one and it's on blue, okay, in mm -hmm. order to shut this thing off. Right. Hang on, I gotta fix the camera. You're way out there. There, that's better. Much better. In order to shut this off, okay, mm -hmm. you gotta hold this mm -hmm. until it changes green. And then you gotta hold it again until it shuts off. There's no switch to turn on and off. Downfall right there. I mean, right. who wants to do, I don't even wanna do it. I just wanna be able to pull up a switch and shut it off. All right. Not have to hold it, change it to the second player, and then shut it off. I know it sounds petty, but you, you know, you're doing that, you get a phone call and you gotta go, I mean, who's gonna do that? You're gonna throw that thing down. Okay, another issue that you have to have it in a small room. It has to be no objects in it really to interfere with it. So you gotta have a small room that has basically nothing in it. Yeah. And you have to have no fluorescent lights in there. You have to basically turn off the lights so it has to be dark and in order to see it. You have to have a wall. You have to have a wall for it. Yeah. It says right here well, in the directions that if, you need to put wall. And um, also, when it is shining, it's not really shining on the wall. It's kind of like shining on the ceiling and you're supposed to run this light, this, this thing here, mm -hmm. through that beam of light. Well, number one, you can't see the beam of light. We had it in our bedroom. It's small. You can't, you can't see no beam. All you can see is the light and it was up on the ceiling every time and you're trying to and it's behind you and you're trying to go like this and you need and you're supposed to stay within arm, arm's length of this thing yeah so and you can't see no beam there's no beam to look at all you can see is the mm -hmm. light on on the ceiling and you're trying to okay yeah um but just show you for instance i know it's light in here and stuff but when you turn this thing on okay this is uh, one player. This is your players, one to two players, okay? And on the right, see, it shouldn't even do that. On the right is your difficulty level, one, two, and three, okay? So I've got it on one player, on difficulty level one. And like right now, okay, something should have happened. But what did it do? It reset itself. Yeah. It does that every time. This thing is malfunctioning. Number one, it sucks. Yeah, yeah. And number two, it's malfunctioned right out of the damn box. Right. Look at them, look at them numbers. Oh my God. Look. Wow. And it's supposed to go up to, a, I think, score 11. It's score 11. And then it will reset itself if you want, right? It resets itself or you have yeah. to reset it. Yeah, it'll reset itself yeah. after. And it go to double zeros again, but now it does. It's not doing. It wasn't doing it. Now it's back on. Yeah, it, that. But and you I do it one time, and that's it. It stops. And I checked all our batteries. They're fine. Right. So. It also that was another problem. We found out it drains the battery real quick. Yeah. 
So you'll be going to be buying a lot of batteries. See, I should at least did something should have happened there and it didn't. Yeah, it didn't do it. So and you there's no charging for this, so it doesn't no. charge on anything. It is strictly on batteries. This one is malfunctioned right out of the box. Yeah. Number one. Number two, it's junk. See so, you now let me shut this off, okay. So how long it takes to shut that off when you're on player one. It is by Sharper Image, which I like a lot of their products. But this thing, we bought it at Walmart. Mm -hmm. 30 bucks. Yeah, it was $30, and we thought, well, Plus you know, it'd be cool to, to play. But we can't. You just yeah. can't play it. And it's I mean, terrible. You know, we was in, a, in our bedroom, door shut, completely mm -hmm. dark, TV off, everything, completely dark, and you can't, you can't see any beam. And like I said, it shined up on to the ceiling. And, and so you can't see, you, you got to look behind you and try to, and you only got so many, so much time and it'll go to the next player. It's ignorant. Uh, 30 bucks, it's junk. I mean, like I said, this one is malfunctioned right out of the box. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how many of these they have sold for people. For Christmas. For Christmas to, to, to give to their kids thinking, well, this will be great. You know, mm -hmm. at least they're not sitting down or up and doing something. Right. Give them exercise. I get it. You know. And cool. then they put batteries in it and malfunctions. If it does work, then it's going to drain their batteries so bad. In fact, I used batteries out of the mics because I know they're fresh charged. Yeah. Is your own? Yeah. They are fresh charged mm -hmm. to try this out. Didn't work, so I put them back in the mic, and they were they were going dead. The mic was giving me a uh, it'll start blinking. I was like, "This is ignorant." She's like, "Well, let's go do our review." I said, "Yeah, um, yeah. pretty much the review is it's junk. We can't even. It's not even worth taking in there to show you because even in a perfectly dark room, yeah, it's doing what it's doing up here in all this light." Yeah. So it's not any different. So it's no different. So it is, it's malfunctioned right out of the box at 30 bucks. Even if you get a new one, I, I mean, how are you going to, like I said, you can't see a beam of light. It's not like it shows on the box here. Mm -mm. It's, you're not going to do that. Mm -mm. That's not going to happen. It's just kind of like shows a beam of light. Like maybe if you can see it flashing up there. From, it's all you, all you do is reach the thing and it'll ding if you hit the blue thing. Well, it won't even ding like if you don't do anything. It just automatically... That's stupid. It's supposed to go to the next player. It just resets and then does nothing after you, you know, after you try to do something with it. So It's just stupid. You know, I mean, it's... Useless. It's junk. It, it, it doesn't even feel good quality. Let's shut mm -mm. this off here. No. Okay. And like I said, the batteries are, I mean, they, they stick in there. Do this again. Take these ones out. Because I got to come out anyway. That one fell right out. This one did too. So, good luck on, you know, what batteries you use. So that one didn't even want to go in there. Mm -mm. So... You know, some batteries, you know, their casings might be a little different. Yeah, and you can't mix the old with new. You have to put new ones in. Well, that's with anything. That's just... But, I mean... Anything. You never want to put a new and an old one in. But the point is, is some batteries ain't going to fit right. And when you got to take them back out, there's no eight-year-old that can take that... Take these batteries out of there. This is it's just a it's a literal it's a literal pain and these little screws I mean they don't look at that I mean this just changing the battery itself is a damn chore yeah you know I mean you can't just take the cover off and replace the batteries and and you an eight-year-old's not going to do that. No. Mm -mm. So, Bruno. So, I mean, it's... Even for an eight-year-old. I mean, even for adults. It's a pain. I mean, you can't... It's just... It's a 
pain in the ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, these ain't bad. I mean, you just pull a screw out and you take them out. But those ones then handle, man. It's horrible. It's ignorant. Yeah, it's terrible, man. So I'm gonna, now I gotta charge all these batteries up. So that's another reason why I think this is malfunction. It shouldn't drain batteries like that because I, I, I can have these batteries in my sign and leave my sign for hours at a time and not have an issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, it's no good. I mean, were they down a little bit? Yeah, but I charged them. But that was down to, uh, it's supposed to be 1.5. I, I think the lowest one was 1.39. All right out of 1.5 which is enough to I, I mean come on so I made sure I had them all at 1.5 they were well they were all at about 1 1 1.49 so and it didn't and it just ran them down so quick so this thing is junk please don't buy it mm -hmm. and if you did already uh. wrap that thing and take it back because you, you're gonna be very your kids are gonna be very disappointed or if you bought it for yourself you're going, You're going to be, be dis disappointed. Yeah. I was disappointed, yeah. I thought it would be fun. <laughs> we yeah. like ping pong. <laughs> yeah. So. So we thought, well, we can split us in the bedroom. Yeah, have a good no, time. It's, it, <laughs> there's no beam of light. You cannot see a beam of light. I mean, if we had a fog machine in there, we probably could. Mm. You know? Yeah. But it's just shining light onto the ceiling, not the wall. And first of all, and then the blue was supposed to be on this side and it had it on the other side yeah you can't run around and do that so you had to turn it the yeah. other way and then it went back over to that way again it didn't make there. sense and nothing yeah i mean nothing worked right on mm -mm. it so mm -hmm. i mean I'm, i know number one it's malfunction number two yeah i thought it was going to be like that yeah, to where like, you can sit here at a table yeah, or something. Yeah, and just p hit it back and forth. I mean, I understand That's you what gotta, I thought. you know, move around, but yeah. when it's up on the ceiling back behind you and there's no beam, uh -oh. it says to, it says in the instructions to run this down through the beam of light. There is no beam of light. Mm -mm. There's just a, a round light on the damn ceiling. So, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Monk? I think it's a big thumbs down and I would <laughs> give it a zero, zero. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we're gonna box this back up and take it back. Yeah, I am so disappointed. Yeah, I uh, thought it would have been great, great, fun thing to do, and and so did he. So yeah, especially like in our bedroom, it's small, and you are within arm's length of this thing. All right. And, and I mean, so we thought, yeah, we just sit there and bang this thing around back and forth. Mm -mm. You know, this thing's stupid. Yeah. I don't even know if it's a good concept because kids don't want to get up and do anything anymore, unfortunately. Some kids will. We've seen kids out having a good time. That was great. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of kids that just like to sit and do this. Yeah. All day long, whether it be on their phone. Yeah. Or they're PlayStation, watching. Yeah. Xbox, whatever. This is what Or just getting doing. online their on their computers and playing yeah. live. Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They're, mm -hmm. they're playing. They, they don't want to get out and have to do this anymore. No. Um, but if your kid does and your kid is active, don't do this. No. <laughs> don't buy them this because mm -hmm. it, it's a waste of money and it's very disappointing. This thing is going back. and Buy the real one. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, just we just thought, you know. Okay, guys, that's the end of our video for for this de depressing and disappointing uh <laughs> item that we got from walmart so anyways i hope you enjoyed the video i'm sorry it didn't work but you know that's why we do this and she's so, doing her outro on my camera because her yeah. memory card got full so. Yeah. so don't buy this so anyways i'm gonna say i'm out and i have a great rest of the week <laughs> <laughs> like i said show bye y'all Bye, guys.